guys welcome back to my channel here hanging with the griffins um, my name is megan griffin if it is your first time here um this is you know i'm very new to this so um this is one of my um first videos so i'm very very excited um so today we are going to be um unboxing the juju b um mini deluxe backpack and then the, the travel kit or the b set kit um bags sorry um so i got a we're going to um savannah tomorrow for all week um for a vacation this summer and i wanted a backpack um diaper bag that was smaller than mine um right now i use the skip hop um, diaper bag and I just wanted to get us just a smaller bag that doesn't take up as much room um, especially now that Chelsea's getting older she's now um, nine months um, and I just wanted something that would hold just like the necessities that I need to take because I don't need to take as much now for her um, so I'm gonna be um, unboxing it I just took out all the box this is the package it came in um, I did get the um, I want to say is B marine um, color so this is it coming out of the bag it is um small um which i like this is re it's really nice hardware on here um i really like that like black slate kind of look um it does have a sticker on that so it is shiny once you take this off um and everything is covered with plastic here and then um this is the back of the bag so really nice um little straps so we are going to go ahead and um, on the, um, first off too, it has stroller hooks right here, which I really like. I'll always use, um, always hook my diaper bags to the stroller at this, um, especially when I'm out with Chelsea and if I'm out with Chelsea by myself, um, it is really nice to be able to hook it to the stroller. Um, I can either have her on my hip, the backpack on my back, or I can have her in the stroller and, um, hook the diaper bag there. And, um, it's easily accessible because I normally keep my wallet, my keys, my phone all the way in this bottom pouch normally. Um, and I want to say that's what I'll be doing with this bag. Um, I will be putting some stuff in here later just so you can see like how much it holds um, just the necessities I put in here um, so let's just go ahead and get it open also it's really it's really big on in the inside um, it does come I see right here it comes with a changing pad um, it's really nice it's almost exactly like the skip hop one that I already have but it's good it's wipeable um, very nice very nice um, and then on here, you can see back here, it has a, a zipper pocket in the back right here. Um, it is, it's about half the length of the bag, um, deep. Um, and on here it is the, they come with, um, stroller hooks that you can hook to your stroller. Um, I'll be taking those off later, um, to go ahead and put in the bag. Um, and then there is a pocket right here, elastic pocket. And then outside of that, um, there is um, another elastic pocket on this side, and there is another elastic pocket on this side. It's very nice, very nice, and it does open very nicely, so you can see everything that is in your bag, which I really like. Um, I don't like to have you know fish for everything. Um, and then if you turn to this side, there is a mesh pocket right here, and if you unzip that, it goes the full width of the bag, which is really really nice. I really like that. Really like that. And then on the outside of the bag, you can see here, um, sorry, I'm skipping around this is my first time doing this. <laughs> um, and it has, um, elastic pockets on the outside as well. I always like to carry her bottle here. Um, it is breast milk. So normally it's a freshly pumped bottle that is good for four hours outside. Um, and on, at room temperature. So I normally keep that here. Um, if not, I will keep an ice pack with it um, in my other bag. Um, there is another one on this side as well. And I like to keep a water bottle um, for me there. I drink a lot, a lot of water. So I like to keep um, a water bottle with me at all times, which is really nice. And then here, if you, oh, there is a pocket down here at the bottom. Of course, you know, I just unboxed this. So it is um, still got all the tags and everything is still on it. Um, and then here is a really, really nice size. Like my, my wallet, my keys, my phone will have no issues fitting there. It is really, really big. Um, and then after, once you open that, you can see there is another zipper pocket right here. I'm gonna open that. And it's a pretty good size as well. Um, I believe my keys will be able to fit in there or I like to keep um, chapstick. Um, I like to keep Chelsea's insurance card with me at all times or at least one in the diaper bag just in case like her grandparents have her and they need her insurance card for some reason. Um, you know, just anybody watching her, my sister watches her sometimes. So just in case they ever need it or need to take her to the doctor or the hospital, you know, for any reason, I like to have that just in here um, easily accessible. So I do keep an extra, we have an extra one of that. We, me and Teller also keep one in our wallets, but I like to keep one in her diaper bag. So I would probably store that right there. So that is, it's a very, very nice bag. Um, 
these straps. I'll go ahead and just pop these off right here so you can see. They are very good. They aren't padded straps though. Um, so hopefully we'll be okay with that. Um, they're a very good material. They feel very secure. Like they're not going to break or anything like that. Um, they're very nice hardware. The hardware on those and all of the zippers, even the um, where the stroller strap is, um, they all have the same hardware as the front. It's like a it's like a shiny black slate kind of look. Um, I really, really like that color hardware. Very nice, very nice. All right, so that is the um, mini, the Juju B Mini Deluxe um, diaper bag. Put that changing pad over there, and so I also got the B set um, in all the same color, the marine um, B marine or something like that, um, blue color. So this is um, this is how it comes out of the package right here. Still tags on it, and everything um, right here. Let me see if I can pop this off for us. You can see how long this one can be. I need to have some scissors over here. I'll pop that off. There we go. So there we go. And of course, this can be um, easily adjusted if you would like it shorter, longer. Um, I like more of a crossbody. That might be what I use this for. Um, but that is the um, largest bag. It's got the same hardware. Very nice. Very nice. I really like how everything matches and has the same hardware and everything. So once you open it, you can see the other smaller bag which is gonna be more of a wristlet size. Um, it does have the overall um, strap, just kind of like a small little, um, you can just easily pull it out. Um, again, same hardware. And then once you open this little bag, um, it comes with a tiny little bag, um, which is very nice. Um, and these all, um, I like how they nest together. Um, when you're not using them, you can just pop them. They don't take up that much space if you um, are, you know, have them in the closet or anything um, and not going to use them right then. But I like um, that everything matches. I really like the size of these. I really like this small one just in case I have any like little things to pack for her to keep those in here. Um, and then I really like this size for I keep um, all of her medicines on me. Like so Tylenol, the dropper for that. I keep a thermometer with me. Um, I keep, what else do I keep in this other bag? I keep, um, I do, I keep gripe water, Motrin, Tylenol, Vaseline. Um, I keep all the droppers for those. I do keep some, um, teething gel. We've only used this one time, um, but I do like to keep that. Um, she just started teething about two weeks ago for the first time. Um, she only, only lasted probably about three days. Um, she, you can see them now like on her gums, but they haven't broke through the gums yet. So you can just see them when you open her mouth. There are little pearly whites everywhere, um, except for her two front teeth. Um, so I'm very excited for her to get those teeth uh, so she'll be able to eat more. But now I'm going to pack up the diaper bag so you can see what I can fit in here. Um, but first I'm gonna go ahead and take all the tags off and everything, so I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so I have everything laid out that I am going to be packing in my um, diaper bag. So let's see how it fits. Alrighty. So I like to keep a swaddle blanket with us, you know, just in case it gets cold. Um, I just need to wrap Chelsea in it, you know, for any reason. So I'm just gonna slide that in there to the bottom. So, cause I like to keep that, I don't need it all the time. So I just like to keep that in here just in case. Um, I do have Chelsea's wipes right here that I am going to put in this front pouch, I believe. I'm gonna keep all her diaper essentials just right here so they're easily accessible and I don't have to uh, be scrounging in the diaper bag for that. Um, so I just put her um, pack of wipes in there. Um, I do have three um, Pampers diapers. These, um, she is now in the size three, so that I have three of those that I, um, I like to keep about three diapers um, with us, you know, just in case um, I have to change her multiple times while we're out for, you know, a blowout or anything like that. You don't ever know what's gonna happen with your little ones. Um, I like to keep an extra outfit in there as well, so I'm gonna to slide that um and on that side as well and um i'm gonna close that up and in this um smaller pouch here um the, the one right here on the left side i um keep her diaper rash cream i don't always have to use that but i like to have it on here and this is like the travel size one i got that with like the little um johnson and johnson kits it comes with like um a lot of mini stuff um but anyway i got this um at her baby shower so i like to keep that in her um diaper bag just in case we need to use that i also have a bumco mini like travel set that comes in this little travel case that i like to keep on there in case we do have to put that on there um 
so I like to keep that in there and I'll put that just on this side pocket so it's easily accessible I don't have to use them every time so I don't really want to uh, have to go through those um, if I want to pack it on the front side so I just like to keep those things that I like um, that I'll easily have to assess on that front side um, I also have this uh, the munchkin um, diaper um, disposable bags um, that I like to keep in here just in case she has um, a dirty diaper that um, smells and I don't like to keep that in you know people's trash cans or restaurant trash cans or, you know anything like that I just like to put it in here so it's just not smelling up everything um, I also like to keep these in here in case um, she does have like a blowout diaper and her outfit gets messed up um, that I need to put her um, put it in I don't want to just throw it in the diaper bag so I like to keep these so I can just um, throw the outfit in one of these bags tie it on up and I don't have to worry about it getting um, on any other things in here or messing up any other things so I'm just going to um, slide that into the, the other side pocket right over here um, it could fit on the other side I just don't want it to be too bulky on that other um, in that other little pocket um, I also have um, this uh, teething ring I like to keep in there. Um, I just like to keep at least, uh, honestly, I keep a couple toys with me at all times. Most of them, some of them I do um, attach to her um, car seat. Um, we just upgraded her car seat about two weeks ago to the um, convertible car seat. So now we just have to take her in and out of the car seat. She, um, we still need to get another one for my car. So um, that one is in her father's car. And then on my car, she's still in her infant car seat. So I can attach her toys to it if I need to, if they have the little rings or I can just sit it in her lap um, like the other one. So some, you know, we're just interchanging those. Um, so sometimes I just like to throw a couple extra toys just in here. And she just loves like teasing. She just likes to put anything in her mouth right now. So this is really good just to keep um, in here. So I'm just going to put that on top of that swaddle blanket. And then she is um, at the stage where she wants to, she's eating a lot more foods. Um, so she still gets some parades or like mashed up foods like um, mashed potatoes. Um, I just started giving her a little bit of macaroni and cheese. She loves broccoli. Broccoli is her favorite. Um, but she's, you know, it's just kind of a hit or a miss what we're going to give her that night. Sometimes she really wants to eat. Sometimes she doesn't. Um, so it's just kind of, um, a learning progress for all of us. So, um, I'll do, but she loves these little TVs, either the happy baby teethers. Um, it comes with two little teething biscuits in here, but I like to keep these with us now cause she really, really likes these. Um, these are her favorite. I have, um, this orange pack and I also have the purple pack. Um, she really, really likes these. So I like to keep one of those in here and I am just going to put it in, um, I believe I'm going to put it in this, uh, this pouch right here the, the bigger pouch i'm just gonna slide that down in there um like i said she's still eating some parades and softer foods that i need a um sorry about my dog layla she's just barking because i want to drive down our road um but i like to keep a spoon in there these are her favorite these are the munchkin ones um and I like to keep one of these in there, so I'm just gonna slide that on the teething biscuit. All right, sorry guys about that. Um, I also like to keep one of these, um, a bib with me. Um, I use these when she is eating um, it, just anything, um, just to keep it off her clothes, and I don't have to change her old outfit when she eats, because she does get, still get pretty messy, but um, I like to use these. These are my favorite, favorite bibs. Um, they are very, very lightweight. They wash really easily. You can throw it in the wash machine. Um, these are by the Bumpkins Company. Um, and I have, they come in a set of three, um, and this is just one of them I have, and I just like to fold it up into like a little, little square, and I'm just going to slide that, um, behind that, um, where that spoon is. So I have the teething biscuit, the bib, and the, um, spoon in there. So that is about, um, that stuff. So now I'm going to, um, pack up Chelsea's medicines. I'm going to use this larger one because I just, because I have more and I don't want it to, um, you know, uh, overcrowd the smaller medium bag like I thought I was going to use. So I do have the um, safety first forehead um, thermometer that I'm going to just slide in there. Um, I do have the uh, little, little Remedies um, gripe water. We we don't really have to use that very much anymore, um, but I just like to keep it with me just in case. Um, Tylenol, the infant Tylenol, great flavored. Um, also have the little, little Remedies um, gas drops. We also don't really have to use that anymore. I uh, just like to keep us with it just in case. Um, I do the Motrin. So she just got up here where she can use Motrin. Um, I did give her that when she was teething. Um, her doctor recommended to alternate infant Tylenol and um, infant Motrin. So that is what I do with that. Um, Vaseline. 
this is just one um extra tube that we actually got from the hospital that we um i just like to keep in there um i also have this um soothing gel for teething um this is with all natural ingredients to soothe um sore gums by dr talibitz right there so i just slide that on in there um and then i just have this like a little first aid kit um it's just got you know just a couple little um things in there band-aids um a bacterial wipe um safety pin, tweezers, um, just like a couple little things. I picked this up from the dollar store when I was there one day, just to throw in here, just in case I needed any of this with her. Um, especially as she becomes more mobile, she might have a couple um, more accidents or you know just anything. Um, these are all of her medicine droppers, Tylenol, Motrin, um, gripe water, and gas drops that I like to keep in there just so I'm giving her the right amount of those. Um, and then I'll also keep this um, just little uh, thermometer as well, just in case um, one, the other one dies, or, you know, just something I like to have like a backup or if, if her temperature is really high, I like to check it just twice with two different ones just to make sure they are measuring um, accurately and correctly. Um, and they are matching when I take them with both. Um, if she does have a temperature, so I like to keep both of those in there. And then I also like to keep a pair of little nail clippers in here. This is by the Safety First brand. So they came in a two pack. So I keep one in um, her bathroom now, and then I keep one in her diaper bag just in case um there and then all that fits really nicely into this little um this is the largest of the b set bags so i'm just going and i did take the um the overhead strap um that i had right here i did take that off of here um just because i don't really want that on there um as i put it in the diaper bag so i'm just going to close that up and i can even i mean it, I, I have room in here where i can fit a little bit more um but i'm just going to go ahead and slide that on in there just like that right on top of that bag and then um that uh changing pad i am just going to slide that in there in that pocket no i'm not going to slide it in that pocket i'm just going to slide it on down in there let me see if actually it'll fit in here first guys so i'm packing it let's see if i don't pack on um, in that mesh pocket let's see here I don't like to feel like I'm stuffing anything in there. So it does fit really nicely in there. I did take um, the diapers and the outfit and the wipes out, but um, as you can see, it fits nicely in there. This mesh pocket goes over it so you can zip it evenly. So I, since I am doing that, I am going um, to now put these back in there. Just love those wipes in there. And then I got those diapers, those three diapers. I'm going to go ahead and just slide those um, right down in there beside the wipes. And then I'm going to close that up and I'm going to actually change where this outfit goes. I'm going to actually put that in this um, side pocket where I'll put those munchkin um, diaper bags. So as you can see, that is the new setup there. Um, I have not put anything in this little, um, this little pocket right here. So that is still open. Um, I'll put there something in there in just a minute. But as you can see, um, I got all her feeding stuff right here. I got her diaper bags, her um, extra outfit. I have the um, diaper cream and the Bumpco um, spatula in there. I got the swaddle blanket at the bottom. I got her teething um, ring little toy in there. And then as you can, I'm going to slide this medicine one just right down in there. And as you can see on this side, I have her diapers, wipes, and her changing pad. The only other thing I need to put in here, um, I just bought these because I just bought her that um, the new Jeep Power Glide um, stroller. I just put that together. So there is a video on my channel that will be about that as well. Um, but I just bought these at TJ Maxx. They were a three pack of stroller. Um, you can put hook these to your stroller if you have any extra shopping bags or anything. The, um, Jeep stroller doesn't have a very big, um, underneath like normally like her Graco one does um or any other stroller do it's just like a very small where you can't fit very much in there um I like to keep these on hand just in case we buy anything bigger or the bag won't fit in the bottom um I haven't actually really used these yet but I got a three pack of them at TJ Maxx um a couple weeks ago for I want to say it was $3.99 for our three of these and these are the newbie brand the N-U-B-I yeah the newbie brand so I'm just going to slide those in that extra pocket right there in the back. So, and they fit, all three of them fit in there. I just like to keep those, I mean, just in case. I don't know if I'm gonna use the bigger one, the smaller ones, of course, because I haven't used them yet. Um, so I am going to just slide those in there. And also in that 
that, I'm going to slide these stroller straps. I'm, I'm just gonna kind of fold those up there and I'm going to just slide that in that back pocket so they are easily accessible um, and I know where they are if I need to attach them to her stroller. And I'm going to go ahead and just slide that up. I did forget to take this one off. Um, these were a little hard to get off some of the zippers, um, but I have now taken all of them off. Um, alrighty, let's see here. Okay, in this bottom pack, as you can see, um, it's not very bulky. It's still really good. Um, still got a lot of room for other things if you need to put anything in there. Um, so in this little pouch right here, as I said, um, I'm going to be putting Chelsea's insurance card. I'm not gonna show that on camera, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and just slide that in there. Um, I have my chapstick, I'm going to slide in there as well, and I'm gonna zip that up. I do have this um, antibacterial uh, hand sanitizer that I'm going to um, slide in there. This is the Hello Bello, the apple blossom, and it smells really, really good, um, and it's okay for you to use and then touch baby with it. Um, I do have that that I'm gonna slide in there, and I do have two packs of gum that um, we like gum when we're in, out and about, or if we get thirsty or anything like that, we can have that in case we don't have anything with us. So I'm going to just slide those in there and set that up. Sorry guys, this that little um, piece just wants to stick to me. Um, but that is my diaper bag all packed up and my new um, Jujube um, mini deluxe backpack. Um, so it is all set and ready to go. Um, so thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions, um, you can just put them down below. Um, you can comment how I did on this video down below. Um, I appreciate all the support. Um, you can hit that like button, um, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.